One of the podcast listeners, David, wrote in some really great questions about this horizontal mirror thing that I'm doing. One of them was, okay, so all these large studios are using this uh, mirror ball thing, and so what's so great about this horizontal dome? The other question was, um, what about the 360.com, 0 to 360.com, that has this really great uh, thing called the panoramic optic uh, lens? So I want to address both of these issues on this uh, little video here. Uh, first of all, these are great solutions. The mirror ball thing has been used by so many people. It makes really great probes, and it's just really wonderful where you shoot straight on. And that was the problem that I wanted to solve. It's just a slight modification on this idea of getting the environment. The, the problem I found is when you shoot like this, you basically get the environment behind you, but you don't get the environment that's in front of you. And that makes it kind of hard to move the camera around unless you do another light probe from this direction and stitch them together. And that was a little bit, I didn't have the patience for that, <laughs> to stitch all that together. And uh, it's also problematic to stitch together uh, high dynamic range images. Um, just Photoshop has problems doing that. So when I came up with this thing of doing the, the uh, hemisphere, I was able to get a picture in one shot. Then you might ask, well, what about the uh, 360 panoramic optic thing? You can go to uh, 0-360.com and check out this really cool thing that mounts on top of a, a, a camera and gives you a 360 shot in one shot. Well, that's really great too, but again, it's about a reprojection issue. Uh, let me show you what I mean. The 360 uh, shot camera basically takes a bowl shape and it, it photographs the, the ground to the horizon. And that's great, but the problem is you have to at some point unwrap that and reproject that in a 3D space. Um, the solution I came up with, I didn't know about this camera. I think this is just really great. In a lot of ways, it has lots of advantages over what I'm doing. It's compact. Um, it looks a lot more professional and all that. Um, and if I had known about it, I might have stopped there because really it's a, a great solution. So check out that site. It's 0-360.com uh, and they have this really cool product. Um, I might even get one. I think it's so cool how, how portable it is. Um, the solution I came up with was to create a, a, a dome. And the, the nice thing about it and the thing that, that I'm satisfied with is you solve the problem of being able to rotate around the object because you're you're mirroring the entire environment with the dome. Uh, second, it's easy to reproject. It's real easy to build something like this in 3D. You can look at the original podcast and see that it's easy to rebuild uh, this dome and reproject it on your environment. You don't have any unwrapping that you have to do. I tried unwrapping some of the, the sphere models and I got lots of distortion. This way there's very little distortion. In fact, if you put the camera right in the middle right here and zoom out, every line is perfectly straight as you rotate around. You can look at the podcast I did on motion tracking to see an example of that. So I hope this answers some of your questions, and uh, thanks for listening.